I can't believe... Self-proclaimed hacker guy ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Well, you don't have superpowers either. It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> we'll just have to deal with it. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. as simple as 3D? Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. 
Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. Two, one more to go. For what? God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools. The way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. It's a quote from Macbeth.
They're coming up on Matt's prison. Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Ah yes, I'm quite proud of this one. Terror, as personified by your literary culture. It's a raven. you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta.